doing a sample review, but it's blind. Yeah, a little nervous. We'll be okay. I'm gonna look like such an idiot. That's okay. Hey everybody, welcome back to Whiskey Central. If you're new here, my name is Shayla, and today we're doing a blind sample review, but I'm still gonna nose it, taste it, give my thoughts on it in a short review format. Holy expletive, guys. Holy expletive. We are just getting into it. I'm gonna, we're, there's an aged in glass. We're just gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna grab this, and I'm gonna have my eyes closed, and I'm gonna... I don't even, you guys do not need to see profile of my face because my ginormous schnoz, but that sounds like a lot of whiskey. <laughs> oh god, this was a mistake. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna just do that and we're that. Double boxed, double boxed. Aged in ore glass, heck yeah. Okay, now it's in here. We're gonna put it. I don't know where we're gonna, can we balance it on this? We are gonna balance it on that Elijah Craig barrel proof. Just saw one of those in the wild for the first time, had to buy it and it was $85. Whoa, this is light. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is like dehydrated person liquid. Let's go on the nose, I guess. <sighs> okay, so this is smelly. I'm gonna look like such an idiot. That's okay. This smells a little bit like scotch and it smells light and banana-y, kind of that ex-bourbon cask. I always get some sort of banana cream kind of thing on it. That's what I'm getting. It smells, whoa. It smells like champagne yeast, which is really weird. It smells like champagne. It just smells like straight up champagne, really. Light vanilla, there's not a ton going on in the nose. It smells like a decent straight up I'm going with scotch here. It smells scotchy. Light fruits and those sorts of things. Like white grapes. You know that Welch's like white grape juice that has way too much sugar in it? Kind of smells like that. Yeah, it smells like the white grape juice and also like peaches that aren't fully ripe or like white nectarines or something like that. All right, that's about all I'm getting on the nose this go round. Let's go on the palate. Oh, what is this? I'm gonna sound like such a broken record. I just reviewed Glen Cottom and it smelt like bananas and it tasted a little bit like this. <laughs> so <laughs> I don't know what's happening, but uh, stop guessing. That's not what this is about. Just review the whiskey. Okay, yeah, that's good. It has a nice amount of spice. It's a little bit dry, but the nose intrigued me quite a bit and the palate is not intriguing me as much. <laughs> But I don't know, there's there's actually not a ton going on on the palate with this one. It's good if I could drink this any day of the week, any day, and be totally happy. But it's not one where I'm like, oh my God, this is amazing. And it just holds your attention for forever. You could kind of just sit this while you're watching a football game, which is not bad. It's not a bad thing. It's just an observation. Finish isn't super long. Mouthfeel is nice. It's not like super viscous, it goes a little dry, but there is a little bit of weight to it. I wouldn't say that it's super high proof. I think it lacks sweetness and I like sweet things. So if you like things on the drier side and like very kind of clean and simple, I think this is a good whiskey. It's not something that I would grab very often, I don't think. I kind of have to be in the mood for this whiskey. All right, so price, what would I pay for this whiskey blind? This whiskey is not something that I would gravitate to, I don't think, at this point in my journey. I know a lot of people go for like these ex-bourbon clean kind of expressions. I prefer a little bit fruitier, a little bit sweeter. So for me, I probably would pay somewhere in the $75 range. I'm also cheap, take that into account. Just add like 10 to, $20 on my whatever I say <laughs> for like a fair price. Okay guys, let's get to the review. I'm so nervous. Okay. Oh. oh, shoot. Hopefully I wasn't too harsh. Let's see. Oh, okay. Cool, 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 cool. So I did mention, I think, I will, hopefully I can find it in the edit, but um, I did mention that I thought this was Glen Caddam. This is Glen Caddam 15, 92 proof, and it's from Sugar Kitty, the patron. Thank you so much, Sugar Kitty, for this sample. Okay, now I need to see how much it costs though, because I feel like that's an important part of knowing if it's worth it or not, you know? 75 bucks, dude, okay, this is gonna look very scripted and like bullshit, so apologies, but 
So I said I would pay 75. So this is like good value for the money if you like this sort of profile. Very freaking cool. <laughs> I'm really like excited right now. Okay. Okay, so if you guys tried Glen Cadden 15, did you like it? Did you think it was worth the money? Let me know in the comment section down below. That about does it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed this blind sample review. If you did, leave it a like and let me know in the comment section down below if you like this sort of format better than my regular format. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you with another one of these in a couple of days. Heck yeah, bitches. I need to freaking rock and roll. Is my mic, how does my mic look? That's probably mouth level. Guys, I am so nervous. Oh my goodness. There were so many times where I kept thinking, what if this was blind? I kept saying, if this were blind, maybe I wouldn't say this and then I would say whatever I said. And I'm like, no, nope. Just need to remove that. So blind, we're just gonna try and blind. Oh my God, I am so nervous. What the fucking shit am I doing? This is not a good idea. <laughs>